Good morning, good morning, good morning. That was a billion and one strings playing one of your all-time favorite tunes. At the top of the news this morning, there's monkey business in Utah. Oh, seriously now, it seems that a band of renegade chimpanzees have kidnapped the Pulitzer Prize winning poet Lester Charles and are demanding... Hey, what's the big idea? I'm attempting to get some sleep. Look, buddy, I'm doing a broadcast, do you mind? Whoa, not in the face, pal. Now, let me see. Uh, oh, yeah, the chimps are protesting discriminatory... I've got a good mind to reset your alarm. Permanently. Sorry, folks. We seem to be experiencing a little technical difficulty, but I'm sure it's nothing we can't handle. Oh, this just in. Domestic bedroom violence erupts in peaceful Woodland College. We'll keep you posted. Ooh. Can't even hear your own thoughts around here with all the racket around here. Holy mother of Edison! What were you thinking? You might have broken my bulb! I'm thinking you think too much, pal. What we need is some wake-up music. So when it's raining, have no regrets, because it isn't raining rain, you know. It's raining violence. Hey, hey, look out. What are you doing? <laughs> get my plugs on you. Your saber wags as loosely as your Norman tongue, you'll be run through in an instant. Defend yourself, Sir Lampy of Luxley. A blow for Richard. Ah, out. Hey. A blow Ooh. for Marion. Ah. Ah. A blow for Marion. Ah. The garbage man. Ah. Ah. And from Saul ah. and all the ah. boys down to the delicatessen. Ah. And here's one for the hey. police. Whoa. Whoa. Ah. Hey, whoa. Hey, go. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Who turned out the light? Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Toaster. Hey, slots. Salutations. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks. So, what's in our lineup today? What are our instructions? What do you mean, what are we gonna do today? The same thing we've done for the last 2,000 days. Chores! Chores? It'll be fun. Fun? Say, I'm always up for some fun. Listen to this, it's a broadcast from Ebbets Field. And it's the top of the ninth. I don't understand how chores could be fun. Not supposed to be fun. It's work. I don't like to work without the master. Well, okay. If you guys don't want to work, why don't we play a game? A game? What sort of a game? What are the rules? There's only one rule. You can't stop till the house is clean. Boo. Boo. Gotcha, pal. Leave it to me. Hang on to your hats, you devil dogs, because the master bebop blaster of all time is going to give you a soul injection. Wop bam 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 to the boot oh who She's the 
light out of my eyes. That's it, that's it. All right, a little left, a little more. All right, to the right. Yeah, there you go. All right, a little to the middle. I don't know what direction the middle is in, just a little to the end. All right. Well, was it him? Well, I'm just curious as to whether or not it was him. I hate being left in the dark, you know. I guess we can assume that it wasn't him, right? Let's get back to work. Sorry for that little interruption, folks. We return to our regularly scheduled program at this time. <laughs> cry, cry, weep, wail, and sob. It's disgusting. Every time, I can't believe it. Every single day, give me that stupid picture. No, no. I just put it away. Oh, in a garbage. No, you can't. Wimp. Let go. He's not coming back anyway. He might. The fact is, there's just not enough Stop. back. Stop. Right, right, out peaceful mountain cottage. Shocking world and bringing Geneva talks to a grinding halt. Let me have it. Oh, no.
<laughs> what are you laughing at? Absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. I think he was laughing at us. You know something? You're a real bright little lamp. Oh, thanks. Hey. You guys really have an attachment for that kid, don't you? Yes, he was our master. Well, that's real nice. And any day now, he might come romping back, huh? Just come whistling right back in through that door and everything will be the same. Real peachy keen-like. Uh-huh. It's a possibility. Well, at least we try to be optimistic. Optimistic? Somebody untie the knot in this guy's cord. Why don't you just shut off? Hey, I'm real scared there, Kirby. What are you gonna do, suck me to death? <laughs> what is it with you guys, anyway? You act like you just came off the assembly line. Now get this through your chrome. We've been dumped, abandoned. But he loved us. That's right. So what? He's a kid. He has a family. They move away, he moves away. It's a package deal. But maybe they're He's all... He's not coming back, pure and simple. Oh, yeah? Did you talk to him recently or something? They could drive up any second. You really think so? I'm not talking to you. The whole bunch of you gotta have a combined wattage of five, maybe less. It's been years. It's scrap metal time. Well, you can do what you like. We're not gonna give up hope. That's real touching, Toaster. You're gonna get me bawling like a baby any time now. I think you're jealous. Sure, I'm jealous of a bunch of dimwits. Dim? Yeah, because the master never played with you. Because you're stuck in the wall. <laughs> It's back to that stupid static again. You think I don't know what's going on in here? I know what goes on in this cottage. It's a conspiracy. And every one of you low watts is in on it. Just because you can move around, you think you're better than I am. I'm not an invalid. I was designed to stick in a wall. I like being stuck in this stupid wall. I Help it if the kid was too short to reach my dials! We didn't mean it! Really! It's my function! Don't! Wait! Wait! He's gonna roll! I didn't know he'd take it so hard. Well, he was a jerk anyway. Hey! Hey! What's that? What is it? A car! I don't want to hear another word about cars. You said it. Sounds pretty close. Just don't even start. Sounds real close. Stop it! We're going out to find him! What? what? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Exactly what I said. We're gonna go out and find the master. To the city? Yeah, no matter what. Well, how exactly would you propose we're gonna do that, exactly? I... I don't know. Oh, come off it. Be serious. I am serious. You're insane. Why, if only we were all wiener dogs, our problems would be solved. What? Or maybe it was a basset hound. You're all insane. It was a newsflash I picked up yesterday about a dog. 
in an amazing show of loyalty and courage, a terrier named Grover traveled hundreds of miles to be reunited with his owner. The poor little critter was accidentally left behind on a fishing trip three weeks ago and had to find his way across rugged mountain peaks and scorching deserts in order to get home. Little Grover turned out to be one spunky pup. If a dog can do it, we can do it! But a dog has legs. Ah, don't be a wet blanket. Actually, legs would help, you know. Brains wouldn't hurt either. Lay off. Yeah, pipe down, carpet breath. Well, I'm going with or without you. I say we stay. We'll have a new master anyway as soon as someone buys the cottage. But I don't want a new master. I want our master. Well, what about the rest of you? You boys are gonna need a leader. Why, alone you wouldn't last for five minutes out there. I used to be a mountaineer, see? And together, we can stand against the forces of nature. Were you really a mountaineer? Sure. Ask anybody. Ask Teddy Roosevelt. Why, we shot moose together on the Klondike. Wow. Well, you know, I was thinking you guys will need somebody bright along, too. Good idea. Listen to this. World War II, the Normandy invasion. And who's there but Lampy to light the way? You know, I thought it'd be good to have somebody come along who's really strong. And loud. And grumpy. And oblivious to reality. Well? I just know I'm gonna regret this. Yeah! Wow, this was our last fuse. See, it's a good thing we're getting out of here. I've always loved travel anyway. The open road, the smell of the wind in my face, the flies clogging up my grill. Yeah? Well, how are we gonna travel? Hey, I've got an idea. We can all pile on top of the bed, you know, and then Kirby can push us. No, no, no. Hey! What about the master's pogo stick? No, that's no good. Hey! How about we're in the refrigerator on a skateboard and Kirby can pull? No, no, no. Hey! Shut up, shut up! Shut up! Let somebody else try for a change. Arise, Hassan. Arise, oh, magic carpet. We need a longer cord. Why, we need an alternate power source, I say. Yes, this is it. Uh-huh. Hey, Blanket. Huh? You ready to go, Blanket? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, Kirby. Why, look, Lampy. From here, you can see the really big lamp. Wow! I wonder where his switch is. We are pioneers! Whoa! That 
see the road anymore. Are we going the right direction? I don't think so. Why, you boys are gonna need a navigator. Navigator? Why, sure. I'll just tune in on a radio signal from the city, see? I can take you right there, lickety-split. <laughs> North by Northwest. Watch out for low-flying aircraft. Ow! What's wrong? He stepped on me. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did, Did too. too. Did not. Hey, 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 come on. How do you guys expect us to get there if you're fighting all the time? You mean we're not there yet? <laughs> no, no, not yet. We got a long way to go. Oh, boy. You're telling me. Life is like a journey on a road that's within. Head says you should stay, but your heart says to begin. So you go. But you don't want to go. Any life worth living isn't life just filled with ease. You just stay forgiving through the forest and the trees. And, and you'll, you'll go, go just where you want to go. Time fly by in the city of light. Time stands still in the country. There's no time for a fuss and a fight As we travel the land And I'd be satisfied just to be not denied To reside with some pride But a ride to the city, the city of life Light shines like a diamond in the city at night when that diamond shines, you know that everything's all right. But you know, we got a way to go. Let us meet the master, we don't want to make him wait. You, you just, just keep a knocking, he will open up the gate to that city of light. Master. Is a man with a plan I can understand. Master is a man of great reflection. Master is a man who lays his hand across the land. Master is a man of all time. Time by by in the city of light. Time stands still in the country. There's no time for a fuss in a fight. As we travel the land. Satisfied just to be not denied to reside with some pride when we'll arrive to the city, the city of Let's spread out the blanket and have a picnic. But I'm full of stickers. Well, my bag's full of thistles and sticks and who knows what else. Whose idea was it to come this way anyway? Why, it was the lamps, I tell you. Oh, yeah? Who's supposed to be the big shot navigator around here, Mr. Loudmouth? Mr. Big Loudmouth? Yeah. Where are we, anyway? Now, look here, fellas. Just give me a second and, uh... Whoa, listen to this. It's the top of the ninth. The bases are loaded and Pee Wee Reese is at the plate. There's the pitch. And he connects. Oh, and it's a triple play. Knock it off, you guys. 
We should all settle down and try to get some sleep. This is my sleeping space, see? And nobody crosses this line. Yeah, well, you better not wake us up at six as usual. What are you complaining about? You didn't do any work today. Yeah. Go find your own place to sleep, you little fuzzball. Margin! Hey, hey, hey! What are you blind? It's a line. At, at. Good night. Come on. I'm not the master. Go snuggle somewhere else. I'm trying to get some sleep. Now go on. if I used when I was drumming for Cap Calloway, like this. Cut that out.
No, no, it's just a reflection. I'm not a flower. Why, certainly. I'm as sure as I am honest. In that case, we're definitely lost. But there might be lions in there. And tigers and bears. Oh, my. He's such a baby. Mama. running low. We should give it a rest. Turn out that light. Do we have to stop here? Only for a while. Just long enough to lose our minds. We'll be cannibals within a few days. I've seen it happen. And you'll be the first to go, dial face. Hey, fellas! We can stay in here. Look. What's the matter? Eaten alive, a poor sap. Oh, I thought you were a gunner. Uh, you wish. You know, guys, we are going to need some kind of shelter. Yeah, shelter from the likes of them. Come over here and say that, Chrome Dome. What? Oh, sorry about that. I meant to say, vacuous vacuum. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble. In the blue corner, undefeated champion Rocco the Radio Rattuno. Ding! Oh, and there's the bell. They're on each other like black on a bowling ball. Hey, look. concludes our broadcast day. This is Lowell Winchell signing off. Good night, America, and all the ships at sea. Thanks. Oh, that's all right. <sighs> Thank you.
So, uh, what's this thing with you and the blanket? What thing? You know, all of a sudden you're being so darn nice to him all of a sudden. Oh, that. Well, I was just thinking, and I got this feeling that I should be nicer to him for a change, you know? And now I feel better. Wow, that's weird. What's weird about it? I don't know. I mean, you were never this nice to him before. And now all of a sudden you're nice to him all the time, and I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm just trying to understand, trying to figure out, you know, exactly what it all means. Well, it's kind of hard to describe. It's like being next to a new loaf of bread. Hmm, it's, uh, let's see. It's like a warm, toasty feeling inside. Well, like a glow that just... A glow? Yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. It's like the feeling I get when I think about the master. Yeah, that's it. I remember the first time my bowl burned out. And I thought, that's it, it's over. I'm burned out 86 to the showers. But then the master put in a brand new bulb. And I just glowed. Well, that's all there is to it. That's very interesting. Good night, Slothead. Good night. <sighs> no.
Come on, Blanky. Speak up for Pete's sake. <laughs> no, no. Just relax. You've done enough. We'll look for him. I am feeling a little burned out. Listen to this. The Lamp was awarded a Purple Heart today for being wounded in the line of duty. Lamps across the nation were switched off for a moment of silence in respect for his act of bravery. Help! Hey, listen. Help me, please! Toaster! Kirby! I'm stuck! I hear him, but I can't see him anywhere. Maybe he's calling from Blanket Heaven. He's a little puffy yellow angel with a knob nose. He's just stuck in a tree, that's all. Look! Help! Hang on tight, Blanky! I am! Don't let the tremendous height scare you! Hey, watch out! What? Hey, oh, come on! I can't see! Get off! That was kind of fun. Now get off of my face. Thanks, Kirby. Great idea, Kirby. You saved me. I might be servac. Now just cut it out, all of you. I only did it so we could be on our way. We're wasting time. Keep it up, slots! Even carpet sweeping motions! He should come around sooner or later. Hey! I think it's working! Kirby? Kirby, can you hear me? Wake up! Wake up! Kirby! You're all right! Yeah, oh, yeah Kirby! Yeah, Kirby! Kirby. 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 Lay off! Yeah. Just lay off! What's the matter? We were worried about you. You gave us a real scare, pal. Well, there's nothing wrong with me, pal. So just back off. Don't be angry. Just keep your antennas and knobs and wires and rivets off my chrome. Who needs you guys anyway? Gotta drag you around all the time, bunch of dead weight. I'd be better off without you. But Kirby. Especially you, you little rag. So, uh, how do we get across this thing, anyway? I think Houdini did this once. Why, if I remember right, he was out of the hospital in no time. Well, that's encouraging. Okay, Kirby. some wood to knock on. Toaster, you okay? Toaster! Yeah, I, uh... Give me some slack, Kirby.
cursed whale, from the depths of hell I stab at thee. Climb on, you idiot. Oh, it's you. Where's Poster? Frank! Glad to see you. I really thought I'd turned in my warranty that time. Yeah, until Baggy here showed up. I just slipped and fell in, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure, right. <laughs> you can't fool us. We love you. That's right, like Mrs. Roosevelt loved her husband. Yeah, yeah. Well, here's the shore. Everybody off. Listen to this. This is President Roosevelt awarding the vacuum the Medal of Honor. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I'm dying. Where are we? I can't believe this. I'm really sorry. Oh, come on now. It's not your fault. Things could be worse, you know. How? How what? How could they be worse? They couldn't. I lied. <laughs> Can't you find anything? I'm lucky my backup batteries work at all. Well, I just hope we're not going in circles. Come on. I knew I shouldn't have let you guys drive. Come on, come on, pull! Oh! oh, this is great fun. Let's make these outings a regular thing, okay? The poor guy didn't have a chance. Just... And that's it. But oh, look now, pal, but you're about to f yourself. What? Whoa! Blanky, can you let go? Try to untie yourself. I'm not scared. Blank! Well, that uh, concludes our broadcast today. Uh, week. Actually, it concludes all future broadcasting of any sort. We'll sign off now with the suitable tune. Mammy. Mammy, I'm coming. Oh, I, I hope I didn't make you wait. Mammy. Mammy, I'm coming. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I thought I heard a radio. Don't you know me? Whoa. I'm your little hmm. baby. Oh, you hello, lady. Oopsie daisy. Ho, oh, ho. Whoop. There you go. Oh, oh. 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 Seems like a nice enough fella. 
dingy, but nice. <laughs> yes, Mr. St. Peter's is quite an amusing fellow, isn't he? Oh, you poor baby. Your bobby's burned out. Here, you can have one of mine. Use it in good health. Well, you still can. <laughs> Hello, compadre. I am in deep need of a blender motor. <laughs> a blender motor? Why, sure. I got a whole shipment of blender motors in last week. Oh, boy. Heaven sent you to me. I could have it for you in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Now, what did I do with that blender? I could have sworn I left it here just a second ago. I'm getting as loopy as a full cat without any whiskers. There you are! <laughs> I found ya. Gotta move you guys out of the way. <laughs> you see? You never quite know what he's going to do. He's so spontaneous. Well, 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 how do we escape? Did you hear that, boys? They want to know how to escape. <laughs> 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 Don't fall off of the shelf You must be the new boys in town What's that sound? Is someone moving around? Sit down for a spell You don't look so well Wait a minute, I feel great You just leave yourself to bait You might as well just hang around It's too late We've got to operate Just try to relax it's the House of Wax! Oh, I remember Frankenstein Fever's up my spine Whoa. I'm forgetting out of here Need to shout my dear Who will go to the cellar down below? Trouble is a bubbling in the brew And what you gotta miss This is weird. It's much worse than I feared. I'll close my eyes and make it disappear. This, this is strange. strange. It ain't home on the range. You just tell me that you got cold feet. There goes the sun. Here comes the night. Somebody turn on the light. Somebody tell me that fate has been kind.
missus loved the blender motor. Was wondering if you got some radio tubes, too. Radio tubes? <laughs> Why, sure, I got a whole shipment of radio tubes in this morning. You gotta help me, gotta hide me, I'll do anything. Bread, I can get you bread, mountains of hot cross buns. Come on, pull yourself together. Now, what did I do with that radio? I could swear I left it right here in this very, very spot. What did it do, just get up and walk away? <laughs> I really should drink more coffee. Aha! There you are! <laughs> I got you. <ya. laughs> oh, Kirby, what should we do? I, uh, I, I don't know. Hey, I've got an idea. <laughs> See? It worked! I told you it would work! I told you, I told you, I told you! I knew, I knew, I knew! It worked! Jailbreak! 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 Did I catch you at a bad time? Just wondering if you got my radio tubes. Mom, you bought me enough underwear to stock the whole dorm, you know. Do you have enough socks? Look, Mom, I'm not going to Jupiter or anything. I'm going to college. It's just college. So let me worry a little bit. I'm, I'm your, your mother. mother. Oh, that's probably Chris. We're going out to the cabin today and pick up, like, the old lamp and radio and stuff. I can use them at the dorm. Oh, terrific. Hi, Rob. You ready? Yeah. Goodbye, Mom. Hey, Plugsy. Yeah? Did you hear that? He's taking some old stuff to the dorm instead of us. Cabin. Too bad we have to sell it. How are we going to find the master in this big place? Here it is. Excuse me. Could you tell us how to get to, uh, to, uh... 2470 McBean Parkway.
A113. This is it. Go ahead. He's not home. We'll have to wait. So let's wait inside. Relax. But it's locked. Luckily, my war training included inter-appliance codes. I will simply render the secret appliance knock and will be welcomed by the native machinery. Stand aside, my meager companion. Mm -hmm. Hiya, pal. <gasps> it's them. Oh, no. Oh, no. What are we gonna do? Oh, no. What are we gonna do? How do you do? Terry, not upon our doorstep. Please, feel free to enter. All of you. Boy, you are some lucky kid. Yep, every summer for as long as I can remember. We'd be running all over this place. I looked at her, looked straight into those big blue eyes. Why, it was you who killed Johnson. Parker found out and you killed him too. Then you tried to get me, tried to get me to turn my back. Well, it's your turn, sweetheart. Now you're taking the fall. There was a shot, a puff of smoke. We ran like the dickens. And that's how we got here. Wow. Yeah, well, something like that. And all on your own, too. How convenient. I mean, uh... Remarkable. Yeah. Junkyard refugees in this house. What's the world coming to? No, I wouldn't sew a single stitch on that ragged little blanket. If you could actually call it a blanket, I'd rather die. Uh, like oh, it's just horrible something. and it smells too. Get that thing away from me. Look at it. How could anybody want to deal with it? it. Oh, it's just, disgusting. Can someone wash that? No, thing? Lord, no. Ugh, I'm nauseous. Oh, oh how do you do? How do you do? Sure has grown. Look at him. What a heartbreaker. He graduated, too. Of course. He knows how to work hard. He's all big now. I hope he still needs us. Still needs you? That's the silliest thing I ever heard. Why, if it isn't old rabbit ears? Why, if it isn't old loudmouth? Hi, TV. How you doing? Oh, I've got a few more seasons left. The cottage just wasn't the same after they took you away. Yeah, it wasn't as noisy. Well, I see you haven't changed. Kinda gives you a sense of security, doesn't it? Where's the master? Didn't anybody tell you? Boy, is he gonna be surprised when he gets back. He just left a little while ago to drive out to the cut. Nancy, el perro y dos agentes del servicio secreto fueron capturados tratando de pasar hey! grandes what's the idea? Oh, many pardons. Was you watching that channel? Come on in. It's the greatest, isn't it? You guys sure did some weird stuff with your furniture. Huh? Well, what, what happened? This is, well, geez. Somebody really trashed the whole cottage. You big dumbo, didn't you lock the doors? Why, I, I, I don't believe I've ever seen quite so many smiles before. I've never seen contraptions with so many buttons and knobs and dials before. Naturally, we are on the cutting edge of technology. Wow. Well, what does that mean? I don't know. What does that mean? You came here uninvited We all made you be delighted This is not the time or place to hatch No one here would be so bold to But since you asked and no one told you Let us take you to the cutting edge 
I can process words accounting to in my pixel screen displays for you. Computer graphics locked into your memory. Memory, memory, memory. With fiber optics cast in plastic for nights with sights and sounds fantastic. Just reach out and talk to your dear old Uncle Emery. <laughs> Everything you wanted and more. Some mean cuisine, I'm on the scene to tell you automatic. Hey, I can bake your biscuits too. Pop some dough boy out for you. I'm macro solid state, and that's no step. CRTs, woofers, tweeters, antenna trees, and ultra nine on life of ease. Well, where's the toaster? Where's the vacuum? What's going on? Where's the radio? Where's the lamp and blanket? The master has such good appliances. Yeah, couldn't get any more modern. They're, they're, they're wonderful. Now, honey, I mean it. You can just take some of our things. Oh, this lamp would look so cute in your dorm room. Go for it. 
Well, what are you going to read by then? Oh, I'll buy some candles. I won't read. I'll go out. Thanks, Mom, but I'm not going to take your stuff. Come on. Look, I'll just go try to pick up a few cheap things this afternoon and, you know, whatever. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Appliances. Cheap appliances. Available now at Ernie's disposal. Where's a good bargain place around here? You should have gone for the new stuff. Oh, uh, were you in line first here? Well, after you, of course. Pardon me. This kind of pressure. I must confess, one more dusty road it would be just a road too long. I just can't, I just can't, I just can't seem to get started. Don't have the heart to live in the fast lane, all that is past and gone. Place is too expensive. Cheap. We're talking real cheap. Hey, what about Rooney's down on 53rd? They got like used vacuums and junk. This just in. Rooney's vacuums found to be um uh carcinogenic in recent lab tests. Big, big tumors on those rats. Ugh! We've got photos to prove it, and I don't even want to look at them. Ugh. I come from Casey, Missouri. I got my kicks out of Route 66. Every truck stop from Butte to M.O. Motown, New Old Alabama. From the good Canada and east of Savannah. From Tampa to Old Okamore. I once ran the Indy 500. I must confess I'm impressed how I did. Close that I came. Now I get a sinking sensation. I was the top of the line, out of sight, out of mind. So much for fortune and fame. A bargain in every buck. A buck in every pocket. A pocket in uh every trouser. Ernie's bargain circus, where you ride the Ferris wheel of values for a better tomorrow. Once took the Texan to a wedding. Once took a Texan to a wedding He kept forgetting his loneliness Letting his thoughts turn to home and return I took a man to a graveyard I beg your pardon, it's quite hard enough Just living with the stuff I have learned Why don't we just go cruising and see what we can find? Why wander aimlessly through the sprawling wasteland they dare to call the city when your dreams are all under one roof? Our roof, corner of 3rd and E. Crazy Ernie's amazing emporium of, of total bargain madness! <laughs> Have you ever heard of this place before? Looks pretty neat. Once drove a surface to sunset There were bikinis and buns There were weenies Bellini just couldn't forget Kiko, let's go up to Zuma Kiko, let's go up to Zuma From Zuma to Yuma The rumor was I had a hand In the lay of the land Get a bingo, hit the highway On a reservation. Ooh, ooh. Who would believe they would love me and leave on a bus back to old Santa Fe? Once in an Indian nation, 
I took the kids on the skids with the hope he was happy to lie and say, You're worthless. This sure doesn't look like Crazy Earnings' amazing emporium of total bargain madness. It's the right address. to do this every day. Look! What? No, you wouldn't believe what I oh, got it. He's coming back. He'll see us this time. like my old blanket. I think it is my blanket. Well, that's my radio. Hey, Chris. Oh, all right, in the lamp. Hey, Chris.
up. Really now, why don't you just go out and buy a new one? Are you kidding? Where could I find another toaster like this? Like that? Probably nowhere. Aha! Bye, Mom! I love you! I'll call you tonight! You forgot your sweater! We did good, didn't we? Yep. We did good. You know, I've been thinking. And this college business seems like a good idea. I can absorb a lot of interesting facts. Why, listen to this. I'm picking up something. I think it's a news flash. President Roosevelt has declared today a national holiday in honor of those five amazing appliances we've all been hearing about. So lock up the office, take down the top, and open that rumble seat. Last one to Coney Island is a party pooper. From the starlight roof, high atop the Ritz, we wish our intrepid little friends the best of luck and a fond farewell. Yeah, you're all a bunch of junk. <laughs> <laughs>